okay, it's on. Mm -hmm. Well, six days should go, but I think the event should be all unlocked now. I just have to pass the steps. It is the last link I have to the land of my birth. first into the desert like that. Do something for you. Please uh, give him a hand. Uh, apologies, the garrison in the village is limited and since we are tied up with keeping them from causing any trouble, we can afford to spare any strength for now. But the fool has been bending over backwards to deal with them, at least in the name of mutual interests. Well, it's not that we don't want to help, but the guards are now spread thinly across the desert, on the lookout for them. Getting a team together is going to take time. How could this be? If we return to Carbon Rebath for help, we will most certainly be too late. Is someone in danger? Uh, you guys are just another adventure passing by. And his best friend, Paimo. Adventures, really? Thank the heavens, there's help for Vinayak, at least, at last. Mr. Adventurer, please save Vinayak, we'll make sure to reward you handsomely. First, then what's going on? Well, the desert has become more dangerous than before, thanks to those wretched vermin running amok. It's for the best that I feel you in on the situation before making plans. Uh, you guys are right. Sorry, I was a little anxious. I was being hearing you talk about a certain them this whole time. What are they, anyway? A swarm of Wenut. For some reason, they have recently become unusually violent, hiding in insane storms to attack unsuspecting prey passing by. They're just bugs. Are they bugs? Uh, I wouldn't count a worm as a bug. I would call our tropods as bugs. They've dealt with a way bigger enemy. I've dealt with way bigger enemies. Um, when you put it that way, yes. But this time there are far too many of them. It's hard to deal with them under the cover of sandstorm. And they usually flee at the first sign of danger. Wow, that's quite a pickle you're in. It's not just our village. Other passing merchants have also been affected. That's why the Academia sent Vanyak, uh, Vinayak and me to deal, to deal with this unruly wound. But the caravan we interested to deliver some components was attacked by Wendut on the way. And everything got swept above it up in sandstorms. I fear they've become the monsters playthings by now. I waited to return to Carbon Rebat for help, but Vinayak, who knew that after all these years, he still knew that after all these years, he's still as rich as a machine. He said something about getting his precious components back and he just ran into the desert all by himself. Uh, maybe I should just let the monsters take him. 
Well, what should we do? If we leave this matter alone, not only will the researcher be in danger, but the weather problem won't be resolved. This crisis in the desert can be ignored. Leave the rescue to me. Thank you, thank you so much. I'm sorry that I let my temper get the better of me. I'll mark the location of the attack on the map. Please find him as soon as possible. I hope he doesn't get the hair-brained idea to dive right into the horde of monsters and start picking up components. Okay, so that's probably what he's doing. Uh, this one that have become very violent recently, so be extra careful. And you... I hope it doesn't get... Oh, same thing. Okay. So... Let's get there. Oh. And you are. Mm, getting in from this angle using the terrain for cover. As long as the angle of sunlight isn't higher than. and my speed is not lower than. Uh, that's still, isn't it? What are you trying to figure out? A viable road to recover the components without having to face the monsters. Thanks to. The one all my precious components got swept up by those monsters. Oh, who are you? When did you show up? I've been listening to you talk to yourself for a while now. Uh, relax, we're not bad guys. Your friend sent us. Friend? Could it be Shreya? No, she clearly said she couldn't, she wouldn't care if, if I was taken by the monsters. Ah, I see. She sent you to get the components, right? Uh, it doesn't matter if I'm taken by the monsters, but it will definitely matter if the components are recovered. Yeah, that sounds like something she will say. You could put it that way. Still, things are the same. I'm racking my brain trying to figure out, figure this out. I was this close to rushing out and just taking it one step at a time. Uh, one wrong step and I get caught by the monsters. Uh, if I wasn't here, and with Shreya being such a klutz, who else would be going to take care of these machines? No wonder Shreya was so worried, this guy thinks about nothing but his mechanical components. Ignos, let's go and get the components before he gets himself in trouble. Well, during the challenge, some foreign sages will have diving benedictions on them. I'm saying this both create shockwaves at the point of impact of your plagi attack. Then if it's got damage to nearby opponents. Okay, during the challenge, so for Ah, oh, simply, okay. Uh, oh, okay, so true. Retreat, we're ready to collect those opponents. I'm ready. Excellent, in that case, I'll leave this matter in your hand. Where? Uh, that was done by all oh, party members, it's got the list for me, oh, it doesn't matter. Oh, uh, it's... Revenged? Windstrider! Leave my space! Ha! Delve into destiny! Time to go. Fallen leaves. Adorn my. Let's keep going, team. Decided by destiny. Don't be scared. Let me scry. Engaging. No, that's the fish. Wind strider. Hey, hey! Shadows of fate! Oh. Oh. As one with wind and cloud! Fate is upon you! Leave the wounded to me! Wind strider! Stay put! Oh. 
follow the wind. Wind strike. Shed cloud time. The birds engaging. Yes, you play. Now's your chance. Written in the stars. As one with wind and cloud. Ready, go! Wind strike. Final warning. Delved into destiny. Wind strike. Don't be scared. Shadows of fate. Change the resource location when you leave the challenge. Okay. Oh, thank you, brave traveler. Oh, Phil, uh, it hasn't been too long, and the parts are still in good condition. Just as, just a few more adjustments. Uh, if Nayak starts thinking with the machinery, ah, Nayak, almost done, almost done. Vinayak. Whoa, Shreya, when did you get here? Uh, when you were filling with the components. Uh, didn't you say that this place was dangerous and full of monsters? Why are you even here? I'm just worried about our components. If we can finish this assignment, even I can return to the academia. Huh, I knew it. Look, I have everything here. Uh, once we get back and make some more adjustments, we can find the sending. So, what are all these components for? Oh, I forgot to tell you, they are for the Wendat Slayer Canal, our graduation project. Why such an obscure topic? If you'd apply for graduation, you understand why? Well, not that any of this matters now. Allow me to formally introduce myself. I am Shreya, an Amorta graduate with a specialization in desert biology and ecology. This machine obsessed Tofus over here is a Kisharawa researcher with a specialization in applied mechanics. I'm Vinayak, thanks a lot for earlier. Can people with completely different fields of study work together? Don't get me started, working with him on our graduation proposal was definitely the biggest mistake I've ever made as a student. Uh, you can't really say that, but we both managed to graduate in the end anyway. We did, yes, but did you forget how many extra years it took? <laughs> now, whatever the case, we graduated, right? I heard some of our classmates just completed their thesis proposal last year. Enough. We are not students anymore, so can we just move on from these pointless discussions? You're the one who starts it? Nonsense. When we were building the first prototype... Hey, hey, Ergo isn't going to get you anywhere. Oh, you guys have it out of each other. How could the Academy even think of sending you two together to handle this? Actually, the Academy didn't send us. A person named Connor was supposed to take care of this matter. You could call him my mentor's mentor. He was there during the, our thesis defense. I guess that was how he got the impression that some young students in the academia had designed the, uh, a when it's layer cannon or something like that. So this time he simply kick the two of us back here to deal with the problem, saying that the academia needs to give youngsters more opportunities to shine. But he obviously didn't consider the fact that the two of us have barely talked to each other since graduation. He even convinced my mentor, uh, anyway, this is an opportunity for me to get the Wendat Slayer Cannon back out in the open. Once it's assembled, we'll show those vermin what you can do. There, there that mechanical idiot get, goes again. From my point of view, I also want to investigate the cause of the weather rampage to maintain the ecological balance of the desert. Mr. Adventurer, 
You look like someone of impressive skill. May I ask you to keep us safe while we're in the desert? No, do it for the worst price. You'll be a walk in the park for me. Rest assured, uh, there isn't a lot of support from the academia, but at least we're well funded. Although someone here has spent most of it on you know, upgrading the machinery. And the improvements were necessary. And since you are capable of speaking politely, can't you be a little nicer to me? That depends on whether the person I'm talking to is worth of my patience. Oh no, the, here they go again. We we'll leave that argument for later. Can we start with the actual work? Sorry, it's an old habit from the academia days. This batch of components have, has to be brought back to our village for further adjustment. By all accounts, we can't start assembling until tomorrow. Uh, we have previously planned to install the Wendaslayer cannon in nearby areas where Wendat have been spotted. When the time comes, there may be other creatures attracted by the noise we make. We'll be counting on you, no problem. We can continue our debate now, right? I'm telling you, all my expenses are just fine. You... fine, you ask for it. Let's go over the details and see where all the moral went. Okay, but I can wait until a next day. But I can probably deal with the one that's if I can only shoot, even at the same time, probably. Ah, oh, there they are. Why did you order customized rivets? They don't improve performance at all, do they? Rivet riveted armor is a symbol of romance for us char of researchers. You guys have been at it since yesterday. Ah, you're already here. Not exactly, we actually had the debate about funding yesterday. Uh, we were actually arguing about something else, but before I knew it, we were going right back into arguing about funding something else. I've politely, I've polished the seams of the components as so they are shiny and sparkly, but Shreya is trying to abandon the plane. Abandon? I just want to a temporary pause. Uh, did you notice that there's something wrong with the environmental par parameters? If we continue with the assembly, the charging efficiency of the device will be much lower than expected. We need to figure out what's going on in this area, eliminate all external influences, then proceed with the same as planned. There are plenty of situa situations where the ideal and actual circumstances don't match. There's no need to be so fussy. Uh, I, took the I took the margin of error in consideration when I drafted the blueprint, so it's not a big deal at all. Besides, Sometimes you have to test things out before you can figure out what the problem is. Is that why you tested experimental device number 2 until it exploded the other year? That, that was different. I didn't realize the need to leave the room forever back then. Is there a safer way to do this? I'm thinking maybe you could first switch off the third firing function and just do a simulated experiment of its charging process. That won't do. I don't trust your judgment on this. Let's get rid of the third ignition module. And I'll safeguard it for you. You can install the other components however you please. Remove the ignition module. Then the Wendeslayer cannon will just be one big paperweight. Then you say we just do an experimental simulation of the charging process. 
uh, at the end of the day, you're still thinking about firing the cannon. Mm. Let's just disable the firm function. Let's start building the framework. Well, alright, let me think. Let's think of it as a trial assembly. If only you have said this earlier, I expect a lot of monsters to be attracted during the installation process. When the moment comes, we'll be coming on you, adventurer. Okay. Hmm. In the Fulminating Sandstorm Challenge, Devian Wellant can suddenly attack from the ground and disrupt operations. Uh, the charging devices in the Wellant Slayer Cannon require a stable operating environment. All opponents in various areas must be defeated for the two machines to be assembled. Brave Adventure, ready? I'm ready. Excellent, excellent, then let us begin. All the stuff for parties, no sure stick, doesn't matter. The birds providing cover fire. Let's keep going. Decided by destiny. Let me scribe. Stay put. Wind strike. <laughs> Fallen leaves adorn my night. Hey, go away! I delved into death. Wind strider. Leave the wounded to me. Written in the stars. Okay, this one's good. Oh, do I need to? Time to go. Wait it. That was close, if the women have come to mess, our, mess up our plan. Hey, if we hadn't like, deactivated the ignition, we could have killed it. Now that the women has escaped, it will be at least one more day before it lets its guard down again. You're not planning to argue over the tiniest detail and let it go again tomorrow, are you? Uh, but what about the perimeters? Uh, I've tested them all, and although the charging speed is a little lower than the calculated value, it does not affect use, and there are no safety risks. Shreya, I know you want to consider and analyze everything before acting, 
but you know things don't always go according to plan. If you keep getting hung up over the small details, you miss the best opportunity to act. Remember that time our midterm thesis got defense got delayed? Hesitating won't get us anywhere. Okay, the, here's your ignition module. Alright, tomorrow we'll finally be able to put the one air cannon onto into action. I like to bring them back to our village and think around with them a little more. We gotta make sure we're properly ready for the Wenslayer Cannon's first ever official appearance. But why is there a deviation in the environmental parameters? What caused the Wenna to suddenly act out? You really you really can't just let this matter rest. Mr. Adventure, could you please come back tomorrow? By then, we should be facing the wind directly, and hopefully we'll have some sort of clue. Okay? But they're going in a single day, going back to our village, going back to our village, and then back here. And when she was here, she was complaining that coming just here, Carvon Rebut, would be too long, will waste too much time to go after them. You'll go after the guy, just... Again, wait. This scenery is wonderful. We are now surely enough to convince anyone to become a wanderer. You're here, adventurer. We were just about to make the necessary installations. If all goes well, we'll be able to give the monster a good lesson to remember today. During the formal charging process, there may also be monsters who will try to disrupt the process. When that time comes, please keep an eye out for the charging progress and durability of the device. Leave it to me. Thank you very much, adventurer. Ah, I've got an idea. If you've been busy running around helping with the Wendat Slayer Cannon, in honor of testing it for the first time, it should be yours. Uh, you don't want to do it yourselves? I have no idea how this thing works. Relax, its, it's design perfectly follows the principles of user friendliness. All you have to do is protect the charging device from the monsters and wait for the energy to fill up. Watch the moment when the Wendat reveals its vulnerable spot and then fire at it with all you've got. The ignition and auto-correcting mechanisms will take care of the rest. Sounds impressive, and those panels don't also want to watch. Okay, I'll handle it. Alright, it's a deal then. Uh, let me tell you how it works. Oh. Uh, the Devian Wendat will sometimes enter a berserk state, in which they will keep their distance and launch long-range attacks. During this time, they cannot be damaged normally. The Wendat Slayer Cannon is the only weapon that can defeat the Devian Wendat. Use the charging device to power the cannon up, and only then can it fire. However, charging devices will also attract nearby opponents. Attacking certain opponents will result in the coalescence of elemental energy. Touching the coalescence will charge the weather solar cannon. Rocks in the nearby area sometimes contain such energies, but they can only be destroyed by the weather's attacks. Baiting the weather into destroying these rocks seems to be the most effective method here. Alright. British Venture, ready right, to operate the Wednesday Cannon. I'm ready. Alright, since storms will whip it up. Now, everyone to your positions. Our members of the Romantic Ministry. The wind knows. Yeah. As one with wind and cloud! Time to go! 
You had your chance. Time to go. Leave the wounded to me. Clouds high. The birds call. Delve into destiny. Oh, oh, thanks. Time to go. Now. Time to go. Oh, much. Time to go. Can I use that already? Oh. Yeah, yeah. Wind Strider. Ready, go! Decided by destiny. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we see that Shreya, our one solar kennel is a game changer. I uh, wish all the supervisors who listen to our thesis defense could come and see this. Uh, this would cure them of their antiquated views. So we really did go off without a hitch. I thought it was going to end up like experimental device number 3. Uh, only from our failures do we learn to succeed. I'm no longer who I used to be. How many accidents happened in that year? Well, anyway, this experiment was a success. And that's all that matters. Yeah, while well, the ball is rolling, maybe we should try it somewhere else. A witness reports say that there are bandits in this area numbering in the double digits at the very least. Well, double digits? You're not going to pick them off one by one, are you? That would take a real long time. Uh, what's the matter? If it's the maintenance of the Wendat Slayer Cannon you're concerned about, you don't have to worry. Wait, wait, wait. I. Uh, it would take a long time to repeat this process over and over again. Even if the machine doesn't break down, we will. Uh, Vinayak, not everyone can be jolted back to life after just smelling machine oil. Really? Looks like what were performance will have to be considered next time. Anyway, let's call it a day. Which data from the is full run of samples collected after with the, with data? Uh, 
the same was collected after the battle, I am one step closer to solving this puzzle. What puzzle? Why do winners are behaving violently? Abnormally in abnormal environmental parameters. If, uh, if we can figure that out, we might be able to get to the bottom of this mess. Please give me one more day to do some research. By this time tomorrow, we should have the results. Just confirm. Yeah. Time to go. So, as far as the conclusion is concerned, we made a convincing case for using the Wenat Slayer Cannon to get rid of Wenat, right? That's the difference. Don't give me that told you so look. Here we go again. What are you squabbling about this time? I'm Mr. Adventurer. Listen to me. I found out what the cause is. The frequent activity of the Wenat underground had caused a disturbance in the elemental energy in this region. This energy, in turn, affects the behavior of the Wenat, causing them to start running amok on the surface, further exacerbating the environmental imbalance. The abnormality in the charging device's efficiency was also due to the disturbance of elemental energy in this environment. I knew the machine that I designed would never break down so easily. Uh, if you don't consider this running environment, wouldn't that be a design problem? And since the cause is overactive when it, is the solution just keep fighting more when it? So after going around in several circles, we're back to where we started. Knowing what we do and knowing why you should do it are two different things. Uh, as a researcher, you couldn't even grasp that, and that isn't even the end of it. Normally, nature sets limits on the ecology and behavior of populations to keep the environment, environment stable. The chaotic elemental energy disrupts this balance, which makes the Wenat extremely active. As long as we can find a way to return the elemental environment to its normal state, we can reduce Wenat activity. After a while, the balance should restart itself. Redirect the flow of elemental energy, but how do we do that? Well, as long as we figure out where the strongest concentration of elemental energy is, we'll be able to direct the flow of that energy with that device. We unclog the flow of energy, and nature should take care of the rest. I've already calculated the location of the node. It's somewhere around here. As for a device that can directly redirect, redirect the flow of the energy, we already have one. You mean the Wenat Slayer Cannon? Precisely. The Wenat Slayer Cannon can channel the surrounding elemental energy before discharging it in all in one go. Next, we just have to set up the Wenat Slayer Cannon and go through the same process as yesterday. There may be also there may also be monsters and whether that will be drawn to the weapon during this time. <laughs> Perhaps a small reduction in their numbers will help expedite the natural balance. So, as far as the conclusion is concerned, we still have to use the Wendat Slayer cannon to shoot the monsters, right? Uh, don't give me that, I told you so, look. Okay, so that's just the same as before. Be sure the hypothesis is correct, this would be the one that Slayer Cannon's most critical battle. Brave Adventure, are you ready? I'm ready. Alright then, let us begin. Let us prove to Officer Meryl that this cannon isn't just a pretty face. Okay, attack speed, polar play research. As one with wind and cloud. Engaging. Yeah. 
Written in the stars. Shadows of fate. Stay put. Go get it. Time to go. Dermot and Becky is the final right. Fallen leaves. Adorn my nails are chance. Final warning. You play. Delve into wind strike. Clouds high. The birds call. Decided by destiny. Stay put. Shut up. Time to go. Sure enough, the chart here is running more smoothly. As you said, the elemental environment in this area is returned to normal. The activity of affected Wenet will calm down after some time too. Yeah, yeah, thanks to your precious Wenet Slayer Cannon, we can report back our success and go home. It's our precious Wenet Slayer Cannon, Shreya. I never forgot that this assignment was a joint effort. We definitely had our share of disagreements. But without you, the cannon wouldn't have been a success. What's got into you? Is this about wanting me to put in a good word for you in my report? Well, I just suddenly feel that what we went through just now is quite similar to our experience from that other year. It wasn't always smooth sailing, but we still made it in the end. And let's face it, in the end, your solution proved more efficient. Uh, uh, I can't take out the credits, because you were onto something too. If you hadn't tested the Wallet Slayer Cannon, I wouldn't have obtained the necessary data. To fix the machine, you may only need to replace one gear, but the true challenge is finding that gear. These words from my mentor are beginning to make sense to me. I'm so glad you're here, Shreya. Uh, I'm glad you're here too. Uh, the atmosphere between these two became so different all of a sudden. Just leave it. Uh, when we were cooperating on our graduation project, our relationship was rather rocky because we weren't very mature. Yeah, looking back on it, it wasn't anything too serious. Now, how about meeting at the cafe for a drink next time? We could discuss how to write the report. That's it already? I thought there was another one. Okay. Uh... Okay, there's one more. Uh... Calling up the worms, aiding in the desert, she wants to use a familiar face, familiar figure in the distance, but don't hear familiar army this time. Mm, 
bug back there. Oh, I don't understand. She was the one who mentioned the idea of going to the cafe to write the reports. Why are you here by yourself? Uh, I don't want to talk about it. She is off to work on the report by, by herself. We were supposed to meet at the cafe yesterday, but it took her a long time to show up. She didn't even bring up any pen or paper for her report. I criticized her for wasting time when we should be working on the report, and then she flew into a rage. She said she write the report herself and made me leave. This is ridiculous, don't you think? Still, I'm used to her fiery temper. She will simmer down in a couple of days. If only controlling her emotions was as simple as flipping a switch. Best of luck. Uh, even your action is strange. Oh well, never mind. There are still a few affected wanted around here. So, I'm sure the situation will resolve itself if I just leave it alone. But if you have time, please help me prevent them from threatening passers-by. By the way, the elemental environment and the charging device are back to no are now back to normal. There has never been a better time to experience the weathered layer cannon at full power. Where we seem stronger when I use it. Uh, multiple weathered in berserk states will appear one after the other. But the charging device, now in full operation, operating capacity, also stays ready. Defeat as many of the weapons using the weapons cannon as possible. Okay, that seems interesting. Well, there are still some weapons nearby. If you got the time, please help me take care of them. Wonderful. Why, well, this is the best opportunity to test, uh, test the full output of the weapons slayer cannon, if I do say so myself. I mean the verse, then we go for members and priests. As one with wind and cloud. Time to go. Huh? Leave the wounded to me. Wind strider. Let me scry. Clouds high. The birds come. Oh. They all just died. Let 
fallen leaves. Adorn my knight! There is still some effect when I do buy. Oh, I can build that as many times as I want. Okay. Mm. Uh, complete consumption energy. None of the charge device suffers over 50%. 300 seconds. And just complete it. Okay, then. Everything is done. Mm. There's that. Yeah. Uh, let's go to the cafe. Uh, more than Sumer City for the cafe. I don't think there's a cafe here. I don't know here if there is a cafe. I'm pretty sure there's a tavern. But I don't think there's a cafe. Clear weather all around, bright In a the single day, they went all the way to Sumer City to meet up. Okay, I don't think there's here. Let's check the only one I know. If she's there. Mm. Oh, no, just... okay. mm. right there. Time to go. Uh, yeah, I'll leave her city here if she was supposed to be anywhere. She's here. So that idiot. Who even comes to a cafe just to write reports? Why are you here by yourself? Uh, let's not talk about the half-witted gearhead. The sun must have baked my brains out for me to have believed that he's seen the light. The last time we agreed to meet for meet at a cafe, I spent half a day to get ready and even changed into a brand new set of clothes and the first thing he said to me he said when he saw me was did you bring the materials in writing tools uh, he should just stay with his precious machines forever they'll keep him company i'm sure okay where's your vinaya cup of two same thing okay so we're done They'll probably come back eventually. Okay. So we're done. Uh, I guess tomorrow I'll do the Engali page with Lena. <laughs>